everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy, and this is your total body circuit with weights workout. So in this workout, we will work your entire body for strength and cardio using weights. So you can use either a set of dumbbells or a kettlebell or both. Every circuit will have two rounds where you can alternate between the two or just stick with what you've got. As always, I'll give you different options, so work to your fitness level and listen to your body. This is also the very first workout in our January Jumpstart Challenge over in the Body Fit Athletic Club. So we would love to have you join us. Click the link in the description below and you will get all the information. All you need for this workout is a set of dumbbells or a kettlebell or both and a mat. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, so let's start just marching or jogging, whatever feels good for you. Let's get some big rolls through our shoulders to the back and to the front. We're just gonna take a minute or two to get our blood flowing, get the muscles warm, get a dynamic warm up as movement prep for what we're gonna be doing. Let's take our hands up and down, little arm swings. You can do a little hinge as well. Just moving through the muscles and joints we're gonna be working today, which again is total body. Let's take them across, over and under, really stretch through, open it up, and then take it out side to side, leaning into your hips. So a total body circuit. We're gonna be working in a circuit format. Three moves, lower body, upper body, and core, walk your feet in, flat back down. Again, if you only have dumbbells, you can use dumbbells the whole time. If you only have a kettlebell, use a kettlebell. Otherwise, if you want, every circuit will have two rounds. The second round, you could switch to whatever you don't start with. So it's totally up to you. I'm gonna start with my dumbbells, do kettlebell second round. Also, if you have a preference, you have both, but you wanna stick with one or the other, that's okay. Walk them in and round it up. Tap and reach across your body. So, we're gonna keep it pretty basic today, as in one move. If you followed me for a while, you know I like to do a lot of compound moves. We're not gonna do that today. We're gonna stick to lower body, stick to upper body, stick to core. I will giving you, be giving you different options depending on your fitness level. So I want you to be where you are today. Don't worry if you need to modify. I'll also give you options if you wanna take it up a notch, right? So you do you. Listen to your body. You showed up today, that is all that matters. If you showed up today, you are successful. So don't worry about me or anybody else. I just want you to be where you are today and just get moving. So again, keeping it pretty basic. If for whatever reason something feels like too much, you can also always do the move with just body weight. Take the weights out of it. Again, listen to your body and do what is best for you. One more time, little hamstrings to the back while we keep that heart rate going. We can pull those elbows down. So in between our circuits, I will be giving you a cardio move. The cardio move every time is gonna be a swing. You can use dumbbells, you can use kettlebells. If you've never done a swing before, I will give you a modification. You can also check out my how to do a kettlebell swing video that talks you through it. But go ahead and tap it out. If you've done them, you know it is a cardio power move. That will be our in-between, and that's also where I will explain our next circuit. All right, so I want you to keep doing a step touch or a hamstring curl while I talk you through circuit number one. So I'm gonna start with my 10 pound dumbbells. You're gonna do a basic squat. So you can sit low into the back. If you need to use a chair or a couch or a bench, that might help. If you got the kettlebell, you can take it here in the center or hold it at your chest. Again, I'll give you options to take it up. Then we're gonna take it to a basic bent over row. Then we're going to take it to a crunch, a weighted crunch if you want, either standing or down on your back. All right, so go ahead and grab your dumbbells or kettlebell. Go ahead and roll those shoulders back. We're gonna sit low. Here we go. Also forgot to tell you, we're doing 40 seconds of work followed by 20 seconds of rest. 
So you're here. Again, if you need to take it down a notch, you can just do a body weight squat, take it here. If you wanna make it a little more challenging, you can have your weights in the center or resting on your shoulders. Still try to get low, drop those hips. You got 10 seconds, drive up through the heels, breathe for five, four, three, two, and one. Good, roll those shoulders back. Watch me first. We're going into that bent over row, flat back, elbows up. If you've got your kettlebell, you can alternate in between. So here, other side, here. Go ahead, grab the dumbbells or kettlebell, shoulders back, here we go. Bring it up, drop them down. So watch my back. What we want to avoid is being here. So it almost feels like you're arching, little soft stance. You can also take it here and breathe. If you need a little break in between, bring it up. Drop it down, flat back row, and up. And again, if you got the kettlebell, you probably have to alternate between the two. Just hand it off, squeeze, bring it up, keep it going. Or all the way down, you're gonna feel all the way down through your back, working. So again, five, four, three, two. Breathe, stretch through your back. All right. So modification, especially if you are pregnant, second or third trimester, or newly postpartum, or you have diastasis recti, I want you to stay in that standing crunch. Just think about pulling the core in. If you're not pregnant and you wanna take it a little deeper, you can. Everybody else, take it down here. Here we go. So it's your crunch with or without your weight. I know that can put some stress on your neck. So totally fine. If you just wanna be here, we're doing a little lift of the shoulders, little lift of the hips. You can do that standing crunch for any reason. So I'm gonna give you modifications that anybody can do, but if I mention my pre-post DR crowd, I want you to stay there for obvious reasons. You got 10 seconds, keep it going. Five, four, three, two, and breathe. Go ahead and bring it up. We're gonna do all of that again. We're gonna jump right into it in 10 seconds. If you wanna switch out to your kettlebell, you can. If you wanna keep it with the dumbbells or whatever you get, totally fine. So roll those shoulders back, breathe, and drop it down. I was just talking to my husband who did one of the workouts that I released last week. That is another combo workout where you can use either kettlebells or dumbbells, and he said there were certain things he preferred one or the other, that's totally fine. If you need to take it down, remember, just body weight squat works too, or sit squat, sit in a chair. If you wanna make it a little more challenging, hold it here, goblet squat. Get low, right at your chest, we'll get a little bonus arms, core's engaged. Again, just giving you options. You be where you are today, five, four, three, two, and one. Little stretch through your back. Going to that row. Again, you have the option, dumbbells or kettlebells, to stay down the whole time. If that starts to feel like too much, come up in between so it's a little hinge, row and row. You got your kettlebell like me? You might need to switch in between. Here we go. So one row, switch it other side. One row. You can also drop it down in between. That sometimes helps me really pull from the bottom get a little bit lower, a little bit more through that back or here. Yes. And up. If you got those dumbbells, you're just going here, squeeze. You can alternate with dumbbells too. Totally fine. Really focus on isolating the back. Those posture muscles, we got five seconds, four, three, to relax it down. Whew. Again, standing crunch, pre-post DR. I want you to stay here with or without your weight. Keep it small and focus on the breath, on the engagement. Everybody else, if you're modifying, you can get a little deeper. If you're able to take it down, I've got a heavier kettlebell, so I'm gonna be a little more careful. Go ahead, join me here. I'm actually gonna take it up a bit, but if I start to feel my neck, 
keep it here, or just do that crunch with that. So I'm focusing not on just pulling my shoulders up or swinging my legs, I really wanna use the connection. So zip up the core, knit that core together, everything in, breathe out, and here. If you've got the weight, again, the weight is optional. Just make sure you can tuck that chin, eyes up, breathe, five seconds, four, three, two, relax. Good work, bring it up. We're gonna get our cardio interval, then grab some water. So go ahead, kettlebell or dumbbells. I'm gonna start with my dumbbells. If you've never done a swing before, I want you to take it with just a hinge and bring it up. And again, check out my how to do a swing. You can do a skier swing with two. You can do one dumbbell or one kettlebell in the center. It's up to you. Let's go ahead and get that cardio interval before we go to our next circuit. Ready, hinge, prep it three, two, power it up, squeeze. So again, if you're not comfortable with swings or if swings are new to you, keep the hinge. That works too. It's a power move. We drive the hips back. We power it up. I'm not lifting with my arms. It's back loaded. Keep it going. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Swing and relax. Pedal those feet. Get a nice, good stretch. Grab a quick sip of water. Hope you are feeling good. All right, guys, one minute break. If you wanna keep it moving, again, let's take it back to those hamstrings, or if you wanna take a real break, but watch me for your next round. We're gonna do lunges. We're gonna go one side. So modification, you can just do a little tap back, but if you can, we're gonna drop it all the way down, step it up. We'll go 40 seconds on the right, 40 seconds on the left. You got the kettlebell, you can just hold it on the inside or hold it at your chest. And then we're gonna take it to a bicep curl and a press. So we're curl, press, all the way down, or you can alternate one at a time, or one kettlebell or dumbbell in the center, here, here. Then we're gonna take it to a plank. You're gonna stay on your knees and just tap back for the modification, or we're just gonna hold, I'll give you some options. Go ahead and bring it up, get ready for that lunge. One foot forward, one foot back, here we go. 40 seconds, Woo! balance. <laughs> so you're here, chest is lifted, shoulders back. Modification, you can just do a little tap, or you can do body weight, just drop it down, if you need balance, you can also grab onto the wall or grab onto a chair, getting low. If you wanna take it up, hold those weights at your chest, just like we did with that squat. Drop it down, push it up a little more challenging, right? And breathe, yes. Three, two, one, catch your breath. Let's do the same thing, other side. So again, you can tap it back, you can lunge it back, you can go body weight, no weights at all, or your weights. Zip up in that core, shoulders back, here we go. If you can, down and up. Drop it down and up, we're here. Tap back, so your modification, you're just not going super low, or body weight, or on the wall. Just gives you a little bit of extra balance. And again, you can keep it here, or an easy way to increase that intensity is to take it here. You have a little more core engagement. Obviously, arms have to work a little bit as well. Drop it down, breathe. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, and relax, good. So breathe for a second. Dumbbells or kettlebell. If you got that kettlebell, it's gonna be between two hands. If you can, we're going curl, press, down and down, or one dumbbell or kettlebell here. Up, up, down, down. Join me here. Here we go, 40 seconds. Up, up, down and down, up, and down. 
nice and strong. If you feel like you're getting into that back, put one foot back. That's just gonna give you a little extra support. Zip up in that core, up, up, down, and down. And again, another way to modify is just to do one side and then the other. Obviously, if you got that kettlebell, that's a way to take it up. <laughs> but try to keep it between two hands. One more. Yes, and relax. All right, so take it down. Put those dumbbells or kettlebell up in front. Stretch it back. Modification for anybody, but especially pregnant, second or third trimester. We're gonna go on those elbows and early postpartum DR. I want you to reach opposite arm, opposite leg. Just tap it back on the ground or off the ground. Everybody else take it here. We're just gonna start holding. Lift up in the center. If you start to feel like you're using your back, drop to those knees, get a little break, and either stay here or bring it up. <sighs> yes, 40 seconds is gonna feel long. If you want a little challenge, I just want you to tap those weights. Keeping everything square, but little reach. To me, even though the movement makes it tougher, it takes my brain off of holding the plank. So we're here to here. Yes, five, four, three, two, stretch. Good work, team. Let's do it all again. Starting with that lunge. Grab your kettlebell if you got it. Or whichever one you didn't do before, or keep what you got or what you prefer. We're starting, whoo! It's gonna be a little more balanced. Kettlebell on the inside, other foot forward. Here we go. Down and up. So again, modification, little tap back, but keep that work in that front leg. No weight at all. We're on the wall with either. If you wanna take it up, get a little challenge, hold the kettlebell in the center. You can do it. Drop it here. Bring it up. Drop it down. Bring it up, yes! And up. Five seconds to go. Here, here. Three, two, one. Shake it out, other side. Dumbbells or kettlebells, whatever you got, whatever you prefer, or no weight at all. Zip up in that core. Kettlebell, whew. Here we go. Three, two, one, step it back right here. Down and up. And having that kettlebell on one side is gonna pull you a little bit, so really use that core to stay steady. Again, if you need that wall, or if you need to go body weight, either with a tap or drop it down, that works too. If you want that challenge, hold it at your chest. Let's finish it out strong. Low to high, really get low, push into that heel. Yes. And breathe. Ha! Five seconds to go. Three, two, one, and relax. Woo! All right, so curl and press. Give your hands a little break. If you got the dumbbells, you can go here to here or alternate. One at a time, one foot back if you need some balance. If you're here, here we go. Kettlebell, up, up, down, and down. Nice and steady, and again, since we're doing isolation moves, you can still put one foot back. If you want even more of a challenge, you can make it up, little rotation on that press. Up, rotation. Or if you got those dumbbells, bring them in in the center, rotate, and down, up, rotate. Up to you, whichever you got. Five seconds to go, four, three, two, and one. Down to your plank. We're almost done with the circuit, then we get that swing. Kettlebell or dumbbell out in the front, again, Modification, elbows, tap opposite hand, opposite elbow. You're still gonna have to engage here. Everybody else, if you can, up to those feet. Here we go, tap and tap, or just hold first. Again, check in with yourself. 
if you start to feel like you're dropping or you're wanting to go here, I want you to readjust on those knees, really lift up in the center. Think about bringing your hips towards your ribs, your hips towards each other. That's gonna help you engage that deep core. Make sure you're breathing, but squeeze in the legs, squeeze in the glutes. Little taps for that variety. 10 seconds to go, and then into that swing. And then second circuit is done. Breathe. Last one, stretch. Ha ha ha. Bring it up into that swing. So if you got that kettlebell and you wanna switch it up, I'm going to. If you wanna keep the dumbbells, either ski or swing, or one in the center, either way, if you've never done the swing and you wanna just keep a hinge, let's take it here. Ready, here we go. Power it up, prep it, and up. Breathe. Squeeze in those glutes. You probably want your heaviest kettlebell or dumbbell if you got it. And again, really focus on loading in the glutes, in the back, in the legs. My arms are not working. I'm keeping that swing below my chest. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax, pedal your feet, Whoo! and breathe. Grab a quick sip of water, we got one last circuit. Here we go. All right, team, you can tap it out or do little sidestep jumps, whatever you got. One minute, take a real rest if you need it. Watch me here. Side lunge, we're gonna alternate. You can keep it stationary where you just lean to the hip, back to center, lean, or you can step through it. And of course you can do all of that without weights, right? Kettlebell, you'll just be keeping it in the center or you can switch sides. Then we're gonna take it on your back. If you are pregnant second or third trimester, if you're not comfortable with this, just prop your shoulders and your head up on some pillows or I'm gonna give you a standing option. We're gonna do a chest press, close grip, up into tries. You can do two dumbbells or one dumbbell and kettlebell here. Then we're gonna take it to our side planks. So of course we'll have both sides. We're just gonna hold, all right? But we're gonna hold 20 and 20. Go ahead and bring it up, kettlebells or dumbbells. Breathe, side lunge, here we go. So lean to the hip through the center, lean to the hip, you got straight leg, bent leg, Drive those hips back, or step it out, bring it up. Step it out, bring it up. You got this. And up, good. If you got one kettlebell, totally fine. You can just go here, switch your hands in the center, or just hold it. Same as our other leg work, if you wanna make it more challenging, Hold it at your chest, but still challenge yourself to get deep. Ha, you're done, relax. Good. All right, down on your back. Again, if you're pregnant, second or third trimester, you're not comfortable being there, take it here. You can just do a press straight up, triceps behind your head, one dumbbell, one kettlebell, or two dumbbells. Everybody else, take it down here. Core's engaged. Here we go, close press, elbows in, triceps up and down, up, extra modification if you need it is just one dumbbell or this is what you'd be doing with your kettlebell, one dumbbell between two hands and then challenge if you want it is to bring those feet up, up, you can even tap them down in between, little tap for core, that's a bonus. I obviously don't want you to try that if you're pregnant or early postpartum or DR. Last one. Bring it back up, guys. Whew. No, let's stay down here. Ha. Whew. My brain was ahead of myself. Let's take it to a side plank. We got 20 seconds each side. You can be on your knees, one or both, or on your feet. It's up to you. Up and hold. Here we go. We're just holding. And we are in the home stretch of this workout. So get excited, 
lift it up, zip up in that core. You need to be on the knees, especially if you feel too much pressure pushing out. I want you to be able to pull in. Three, two, one. You can just flip right over or swing your legs to that other side. Go ahead and bring it up. Knees or toes, your feet can be crossed or stacked, whatever feels better. And again, if you feel like too much is pushing out, you're not able to engage in, drop that knee. I'd rather you have better engagement than to try to do the highest version. Three, two, one, relax. Now let's go to that kettlebell. We are so close, team. All right, here we go. Kettlebell if you got it, or whatever you prefer. I'm gonna go with my heavy one because we can do it. Side lunge, stationary, or moving. Here we go. Down and up. So you can hold it between two hands and just take it to the feet. Or switch in between opposite hand towards the foot. Breathe. Again, you can also do this with no weights or with dumbbells, stationary or together. If you want that challenge, hold it here. Step through. Yes. This is your last time with lunges. So make it good. And breathe. Five, four, three, two. Let's get that other side in. Yes. Relax. All right, standing, press and tries if you wanna modify that way. Down on your back. I'm gonna go with kettlebell, you go with dumbbell one or two. If you want that challenge, you can lift the feet up. Here we go, take it up and tries. And if you don't feel comfortable with the triceps, sometimes especially with a heavy kettlebell, just keep it with the chest press. That works too, just straight up. If you want a little abs, you can tap down on one or both. Up, triceps, and down. Finish strong, yes, Whew, breathe. Good, 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one, relax. Kettlebell or dumbbell out in front. We're gonna come into that side plank. This time, if you want that challenge, you can drop it down, bring it up, either on your knees or on your toes. 20 seconds each side. Here we go. Lift it up, down and up, or here, or here. This hand can be up, this hand can be down, whatever feels best for you. Again, we're getting to be so close to the end of this workout. Five, four, three, two. Swing those legs around. Other side. 20 seconds here. Here we go. Lift it up and down or just hold. That works too. Knees, one or two. Or all the way up. Again, think about pulling in, knitting that core together, zipping it up, elbow beneath the shoulder. Five. Four, three, two, and breathe. You did it, guys. But how about a bonus move? You know, sometimes I like to throw them in. I think we just do our swings one more time. I love a good swing. Let's bring it up. All right, team. Water if you need it. I just want to finish strong with that swing one last time. Kettlebell or dumbbell? I'm going to go kettlebell because I prefer it with swings but you use whatever you got, whatever you prefer. Here we go. Hike it, three, two, power. Zip it up. You got it. The swing might quite possibly be my favorite move. Squeeze in the glutes. Again, keeping it chest level or below. We're not gonna go over the head. I actually don't think that's effective but also I don't think it's safe, especially if you're not familiar with swings. Keep it going. Finish out, here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Cool, swing and relax. Pedal those feet. Whew, how 
what do you feel? Ha, ah, keep it here. Hands can be here if that's easier on a chair. And just little pedal your head and neck, relax. Go ahead and like shake your head. Yes and no to relax through there. Take your time, slowly bring it up, right? Roll those shoulders back. You did it, Whew. Hopefully you felt good with that. Guys, that was truly back to basics. You know I like to mix it up, take those arms behind. I like to do compound movements, put things together, mix it up for both your body and your brain. But sometimes we just gotta go back to basic. There's a reason that things like squats and lunges and planks have been around. Whew. Lean into that here. And that other side. So, of course, if you have not joined the January Jumpstart Challenge in the Body Fit Athletic Club, click the link in the description below. You can get tons of information on the club, everything that we offer. If you're looking for a little more structured support, if you're looking for schedules, also support from Vivian, our registered dietitian in the group. Take these out in front. You're gonna find it all in the Body Fit Athletic Club. You can also check the links in the description below for my eBooks and programs and my nutrition guide. Whoo, open it up. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. When you subscribe, that helps me be able to keep making completely free workouts for you here on the YouTube channel. My goal is to make fitness accessible, remove those barriers ah, that we all feel when it comes to getting workouts in. Walk those feet in, round it up one more time. Fingertips down, let your head drop. Little stretch here. And breathe. Leave me a comment below, let me know if you liked it. And again, don't forget to subscribe. Other side, head drop. And big deep breath in. I hope to see you again here on my channel and hopefully in the Body Fit Athletic Club. Thank you for showing up today. You did it. That was your total body circuit with weights workout. Great job, everybody.